hey virgos welcome or welcome back so i'm gonna be doing a reading for you guys sun moon venus rising north node if you guys are interested in a reading my other channel if you are into virgo water signs and collective reading then be sure to check me in the description box for the link to my other channel as well as the email if you guys ever need to reach out to me for a reading let's see what we can find out here what is what is going on with virgo what do we need to know so someone could be getting out of jail or getting out of their own head they might have been in mental conflict about their expenses where they're going to stay their their stability or whatever i do see here that there is a younger main female that might have lost some money i'm hearing some some money was taken away from somebody or someone was trying to get it back from a person that was trying to take it from somebody and ended up ended up getting hurt here whatever this is the number is 29 37 number two someone could be dying over money Someone here could, could be between the ages of 29 to 37, or there are two different people that are 29 and 37. Okay. Someone's on a journey here. Number 50. Look. Someone went to a thief or someone here that's involved in this situation will be getting out because this thief that reconciled with this other male and or female, the, the story that was given to the police didn't match up. Okay. I remember I said a woman and then I see the infantilism. Infantilism is like a child or someone that's childish. Okay. Tell me more. Okay, so it looks like somebody's going to get away or do something that makes them successful. Yep, there was some sort of quarrel. It's about this money. Someone's getting away with not being a part of the case. If there is a case that was open, especially if someone went to jail. We have important revelation, a loss of money. This main female was the one that lost the money, but she's getting off scot-free if she was the one in jail. Okay. She is responsible for some money going missing. We have tenderness at the bottom of the deck and angry woman. So this looks like a younger female that might have been involved. Now this mother is upset with her. Okay. Because she was supposed to meet. Okay. So she could have sent this, her daughter or whoever this, this younger woman was to her. She was the one that was sent there. She didn't want to get caught up in this. She knew it was, there was a chance that she would get caught up in this situation so she sent her daughter what is spirit saying okay so the numbers that could be significant is the number 50 40 39 30 we have abundance so somebody is coming into abundance and we have messages and distractions. So there could be your spirit guides telling you that you were used as a distraction in order for something to happen or somebody is trying to distract you from this money. But either way it goes, somebody is being distracted 
for money. July 25th could be significant. September 7th, September 25th. Hmm. I want to see why distraction would have been there for this um, messages. This could be an ancestral message or a message for somebody to pay attention because there could be distractions. So what is this distraction here when it comes to this money and the people that are involved? Okay, we have the Hierophant and Victory. So someone here could be holding on to faith that everything will turn out the way that it's supposed to. Somebody's taking a lot of risks. This is what I said earlier. Okay. Someone is in a relationship with a person here that's running some sort of operation. Okay. Or somebody's husband could be a earth sign masculine that works for, um, the government or whatever the case may be. I'm hearing that somebody should be careful because there's a lot of secrets that could be held back that will be exposed. I'm hearing that even if somebody didn't go to jail or stay in jail for, for long, it's like they're still keeping an eye on, on this person but I'm hearing about a drop, a money drop. And this is how a young female got caught up. Anyway, we're going to go into the next set of cards. What's here? I think that young lady just went in for questioning. And she made a revelation that she lost some money that was supposed to go to um, another woman what's here what do we need to know give us clear and concise messages for virgo okay so we have delight okay someone's happy that they're not gonna have to spend a lot of time um in jail here There is a happy time that's coming in. We have thriving at the bottom of the deck. Here goes flexibility in reverse. So someone here doesn't, doesn't realize that they don't really have too much of an option. Okay, someone here has to stick to some sort of rule or whatever. Okay, so there is some sort of enlightenment that's going to bring in happiness. Whatever this enlightenment is, it looks like it won't affect a community or a group of people or whatever the case may be. Somebody could have the option to um, branch out or go beyond, but it looks like somebody's trying to stop something from going forward. Let's see what going forward is doing here. What is going forward doing here in reverse? What's going forward in reverse for Virgo? Somebody here doesn't want to allow themselves to speak their truth on the person that they're dealing with. I don't know if this is an affair or whatever. Somebody here could be into a same-sex relationship or whatever the case may be. There's going to be some sort of interference in a completion of a cycle, okay? But Spirit is saying don't worry or there is nothing to worry about. Or someone's in a relationship that they shouldn't be in with a particular person that might not be single or whatever, yeah, someone's being watched. Someone's being watched and <laughs> someone's going to get the surprise of their life because they're getting caught up into some devil ass, reckless ass shit and they don't even care. They don't even care. They're like, I'm feeling guarded any motherfucking way. I already took a lot of risks, so 
what's the point of you know laying low or doing whatever yeah there's gonna be a lot of manipulation here or there might have been in a situation what's going on okay so we have coins money is coming to you money is coming to you virgo we have a solid foundation and success with effort so something solid for you like whatever it is that you've been going through before this money comes in baby you won't have to worry about that you're, you're successfully overcoming a problem there is a package news or a letter showing up okay it could be in regards to a aquarius or in regards to a situation or a matter that might have occurred in the month of february okay look an increase in material wealth or spiritual growth is showing up as well as triumph over obstacles so something's gonna go in your favor this dark man is making changes in his life okay family wishes come true whoever this dark man is this man could be his brother his father his whoever He's giving him advice on how to approach a situation you might need to defend yourself okay because this person is giving this dark man some advice where you might need to defend yourself this could be um, you running into somebody that you don't speak to and you see these two motherfuckers together and they feel like they can come up against you but you're gonna defend yourself you know what to do Let's see, since we're talking about this male, how does he feel about you? What do you need to know? Someone's getting their karma or, or you were this person's karma. What's here for Virgo? Who is Virgo connecting to? I wanna be strong like you, exactly. You are feeling so empowered. They wanna work this out okay let's see here what's going on for virgo look you're being divinely guided by your spiritual team okay akasha at the bottom of the deck we have play have fun celebrate don't be so serious tell me more what's here for Virgo wow we have two so there is an opportunity that's coming in for you and you will be celebrating this opportunity whatever it is let go have fun and go for it whatever this opportunity is we have choices make the best choices and leadership okay What's going on for Virgo? What do we need to know? Give us clear and concise messages for Virgo. So we have a fresh start. Fresh start is in reverse. So there is a delay in a new beginning. I feel like you have this energy of passion and honesty. And you're looking for somebody that can do the same for you. Okay. So this new beginning is delayed till further notice. Tell me more for Virgo. So second position here, the overall energy is divine feminine. There is a divine feminine that is attached to a person or she could have bad influences. She could be dealing with somebody that's in her soul tribe or family group that is unsupportive of her decisions, her choices, what she wants to do. She's into drugs and alcohol and um, shares bad habits. This person could be a water sign here or water sign could be significant. We have awakening. So somebody here is not going through the awakening period or the transitions in order to be on the same page as you or this could be you here. Somebody is going to be rejected or should reject somebody that isn't awakened spiritually. Okay. 
what else is going on? What do we need to know? Okay, so overall energy is dark night of the soul. Someone here is right now or should be going through the dark night of the soul, facing their fears, facing old wounds, taking the action to make sure that you are aligning with the universe. Okay, somebody here might need to pull back from proposing, even though they really like this person or somebody might be not accepting it because we do see rejection here. Okay, this has nothing to do with competition, but rather making sure that two people that are supposed to be together do align properly and in the right way. Someone here could be holding back from communicating with you. They might want to or uh, can't right now, but this person feels like they need to overcome their fears and not allow overthinking to come between them and you from having a heart to heart conversation. Let's see what this person wants to tell you. What do you need to know? What does this person want to tell you? Okay, so they could be talking about what they've been hiding, um, why they could be delaying certain things. They could have been in a relationship or um, balancing out, getting out of a relationship. The number eight could be significant. This person could have felt like they didn't have the strength or the power to come towards you to be courageous enough to tell you all of this, but now it's going to spill out here. Yeah, this person understands that you are somebody that they should have treated better. Okay, page of cups, but they didn't know how to communicate or there wasn't a lot of effective communication in a situation, but they see you as their fulfillment or vice versa. Yeah, this person thinks that you're worth it with the nine of pentacles. Now, this could be a new person or a past person. It doesn't really matter. It would still resonate the same. Hmm. What's going on for Virgo? What do we need to know for Virgo? Give us clear and concise messages for Virgo. Okay, so we have loneliness, number 31. Sweet dream, 39. Number 77, stubbornness. Wow. Okay. So it looks like at this time, you could be going through having support, feeling happy. There is a drastic change from you being lonely to feeling all of the things that you should feel. Someone here could no longer trap you into forfeiting your position in a job. Somebody thought that they would try to trap you by doing something stupid so that you would lose your pool or lose your spot in a career. Somebody here could be having nightmares, okay? Someone could be having nightmares to something that they're dissatisfied or uncomfortable about, okay? Can we get clarification to this sweet dream card? Okay, so yeah, someone needs help. Someone is having a dream about something that's dissatisfying to them because they need the help. Something is making you feel uncomfortable and you've been sad about it, but not really telling anybody. When you have certain dreams like this, spirit is saying that you need to start asking for help, okay? Not being afraid. You know, you, you need some kindness. Someone here may have tried to curse you and it could have been somebody that you trusted or that made a promise to you. 
I heard word spells. I seen a bowl of um, alphabets, word spells in a in a um, witch bowl or whatever the case may be. So someone here could be casting spells through word magic. Okay, we have stubbornness. Someone's name is Clarice. Yeah, somebody here wants to use a friend to take some money from you or to make sure that you don't receive something. Okay. This could have been from an accident, a lawsuit or whatever, but a friend was supposed to take something from you. Somebody is being used to get what they want. But you have the gift all along. You had the spiritual gift all along. Okay. Everything was within you. You're about to come through a gain because of the goals that you've reached. What's this stubbornness card? Someone here could have been stubborn when it came to something here. Someone could be born 1977. Yeah. The same person that was stubborn and didn't listen is the same one that's getting karma right now. Okay. Because they weren't willing to compromise. All right. Whether that's you or the person that's external to you in the situation, they're going to suffer the consequences. Okay. And it looks like it could be that younger woman. I'm sorry, y'all. It could be that younger woman here. All right, so we have intentions and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and transformation. So somebody here wants to change their life or to look for some sort of change that applies to their life. They could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here or have these signs in their chart. Okay, we have rejection twice in the same position. Somebody here is being rejected because they're not willing to awaken or an awakening period could be rejected here. Someone could be trying to come into the way of being in an awakening period to cause some problems. So this is why it's being rejected in the springtime here. We have the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This fire sign could be having family issues or um, something's going on in their soul tribe, family unit dynamic. Someone here doesn't really know what they want to do. They're indecisive on the separation or how they should approach you or whoever this has to do with. But I feel like a third party is somehow like linked to this person wanting to transform somebody here wants to wants a contract career or some sort of commitment but they don't your spirit guides don't feel like they're they're strong enough to handle this at this time they're still linked to somebody else which is why they're being rejected with awakening because they're not willing to let go of the person that's like bringing them down that's what it seems like here Let's see. What's here? What do we need to know? Someone could be doing dark magic spell work. That secret is about to be revealed. Somebody is only doing dark magic or spell work so that you would have an outer body experience where they can like manipulate you. Okay. Someone here isn't romantically interested in you, but you're going to find out the rumors that they were trying to project onto you for you to look like a bad person. All this blockages that they were trying to cause is being lifted and they're the ones that are being blocked from you. So everything is going right back to them. Your spiritual guides are the ones blocking this person because they tried to project their um, not so good energy onto you collectors. This person wanted access to you because they didn't want 
an, an end to come. Okay. They don't want an end to come because you're coming into some sort of financial blessing, a large lump sum of money here. Okay. And they wanted this. Since we're talking about money, I'm going to get the money and career oracle. What's going on? What do we need to know for Virgo? For Virgo. Okay, so we have a huge decision that needs to be made. There are a lot of options or doors that's presented to you, but you need to figure out what you're going to do. Somebody here needs to watch on the, the overspending or what you spend your money on, making sure that the investments that you're making make sense. Okay, for the long haul. Okay, so the card that fell out was, let's see here, performance or evaluation. So it looks like somebody here in their job is going to get a, a performance or evaluation on the efforts that they've been putting forward. I do see that there is an older man that could be resigning or retiring. So someone here is being evaluated to see if they can fill this person's space. Meanwhile, um, this could be the opportunity of a lifetime. This could be why this huge decision is here because you could be filling in for somebody that is retiring here. Okay. And I think that when this person retires, you could be getting the same benefits that they had before. Nothing would change. The only thing that changes is your position here, Virgo. All right. So we do have overtime. Someone here could take on a position where they might have to work overtime. A loan could have been denied, but it's like God created another path for you to take to earn some more money if you really did need this here. So everything is riding on this huge decision that you need to make in your career. There could be a shit. Uh, um, I was going to say there could be a internship that you might need to take before you actually dive deep into this, um, this field. This is a very interesting read. I like it. I'm not mad at it. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. What do we need to know? Give us clear and concise messages. Clear and concise messages. Okay, so someone here is getting into this boss babe energy. Someone's rising to the top of their field. Okay, you got people that are just really supportive. You have a big smile on your face. Like, look at you, Virgo, whether you're masculine and or feminine, you are just glowing. Okay. Someone knows their secret and it's about to be exposed. Someone here might be a, a catfish or someone goes around making fake profiles to catfish people. Okay. And they might have a, a record, a criminal record. I'm going to tap into like what else I can find out. What other secrets is this person holding back? What do we need to know? Or someone here has been lying to people, saying that they're one person, but they aren't. Someone's going through an identity crisis. They could have a family, children, married, Someone here is overwhelmed or can't keep up with their lies. It's hurting them now. Everything that they might have caused somebody else is happening to them here. Yeah. So I do see the Knight of Cups showing up. They want to offer you something, but they're not in any position to off offer you anything because they're in a relationship and or they could be coming out of this relationship with somebody. But it's like when they're good with their person, they're in it, but when they're in a 
argument with their person, they just, they're not available, okay? This person here is living many different lives. This person is a liar, okay? Y'all may have unresolved feelings or somebody could have unresolved feelings about this offer, okay? However it goes here, Give me one more for Virgo. What's currently going on with Virgo? So look, they love bomb you to make themselves feel in control, okay? They said they are forgiving you, but they aren't, and they still resent you, okay? You could be a spiritual healer who is working on themselves, but this is why they want to cock block. They're jealous and envious that they can't have what you have. They've always been confused about their sexuality and has not come to terms with it. That's also another secret that they want buried. Someone's hustling hard and getting that money. And that's you here. Okay. So it's time to party and celebrate. Isn't that what that other card talked about? Celebrating. There's going to be a celebration for you very soon. It's coming. Your blessing is coming. So someone here has a down low individual that always acted like they were interested in them, but they're interested in everybody. And remember, they love to love bomb you and make themselves feel in control. I know some people don't like talking about same sex relationships or it makes you feel uncomfortable. What well, a bitch live in your truth. <laughs> like it wouldn't be so uncomfortable if you let the world know what you are so that you wouldn't have to play the game of hide and hide and seek. You know what I'm saying? Nobody can like stop the messages from coming out. If it wasn't supposed to come out, them cards would have been in the deck. And that's just period. We don't, we don't pick and choose what we want to come out here. If you don't like the readings, then go reevaluate re your own life. Anyway. What else is going on in love? What do we need to know? What's here for Virgo? We have lasting love. This is your true love. This person could be a twin flame connection or you recognize the energetic field between you and this person that you might have time apart from. I'm gonna get two more for Virgo. So we do have an unexpected connection. So you are going to connect with somebody that usually you aren't going for. Okay. That's why it's called an unexpected connection. I do see this person being a potential life partner as well here. Okay. So in the third position, we have an honest communication. Someone here wants to have a higher level of commitment or could already be in one, but they still want to tell you how, how you feel or how they feel towards you. I'm sorry. Yeah, this person is a tease. Let's see. Tell me more about this honest communication. They, they want changes or there is a change that this person is making. Okay. Someone here could have been non-committal before and now they want something um, with you. Okay, that could be the change. But I feel like this person could be manipulative or trying to change something so that they could sleep with you. Okay, somebody doesn't have any, you know, a better game plan than that because they can't hack into a file or get information from you. They, they want to, you know trick you out of some sort of abundance, but they're not going to tell you that. Okay. They're just giving you a little bit of breadcrumbs to hold on to so that when they finish the job, they'll be good to go. Okay. So beware of this energy. All right, I'm going to tap into the reading real quick. I'm going to pull three cards. If I need to clarify, then I'll clarify as I always do. I'm going to use my Surrealist Tarot. This is one of my favorite decks. 
very beautiful colors. And also I just gravitate towards these cards. What's here? Okay, so we have the fool. So somebody here is afraid to take that jump into a new beginning or a leap of faith. This person has a lot of deep feelings that you don't know about, that you bring them fulfillment, but it's like there is a thin line between their family values or what their family wants for them or them struggling in a certain area of their life that they don't want you to know about or whatever the case may be. Someone doesn't want the opportunity to pass them by. What's this fool card? We have the four of pentacles in, uh, in the upright, actually. Um, that is earth sign energy with the ten of wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting here. This person doesn't want to lose or they feel like they have to hold back because they don't want to potentially lose here where they have to heal. Tell me more. Or this could be your energy. We do have the nine of cups in reverse. So someone here could be overthinking, overindulging. Um, they could be overworking themselves or trying to distract themselves because they're in mental confinement. Okay. Or you could be. We have the nine of wands. So someone here could be seeing nine, 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 because we have the nine of cups, the nine of swords, the nine of wands. Be sure to look up what these angel numbers mean because they could be messages that you need to know. Okay. I am getting that someone here is worried. They're afraid. They're afraid of an ending that might take place even after a rebirth. I'm also seeing that this person sees you as somebody that's very um, emotionally available. And um, they don't know if during a conversation that might be a good or bad thing. This could turn out to be a bad thing. So they're afraid that even if a conversation is being had, that it won't go well and that there will be some sort of manipulation or um, trying to over talk, under talk, you know, control a situation basically is going to take place. Um, there is a, there's something that's hidden or not being spoken on with the two of pentacles. Someone is going through something, but they're not being open enough about this. Okay. With the ace of wands in reverse and the two of cups, it seems like a, their family group or whoever they're, they're tied to doesn't want them to be back with you. They want this person to do their own thing to a source. They want, they want blockage. That's what they want. There, there are people that are not in favor of this relationship dynamic. I don't know if it's jealousy or they're just, they just don't like you or them or whatever the case may be, but there's something about blockages, but this person can't help the way that they feel. And it's actually making this person angry because everybody has a say, but this person or you, whatever this is. Okay. Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in your own personal reading, be sure to email me. And as always, thank you guys so much for being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you're notified every single time that I post. And I'll see you guys in the next one.